everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Virtual Vocals. It is season four, episode nine, which means that it's almost the end of the season. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. All right, so tonight we've got a ton of performances lined up that you're not going to want to miss. Thank you all for watching tonight. I'm so excited to be hosting and to see how our performers do. But first, we're going to play a game. Yes. All right. So this game is Mad Libs, but with a twist. So we have a popular musical theater song, which you might recognize, and we are going to replace some of the lyrics with some of our own words, and it's going to be hysterical. All right. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to play the game now and then reveal the funny new song at the end. Okay, so a verb. Hmm. Oh, also, feel free to play along in the chat if you want to, and maybe you might get your word in the song. <laughs> All right, so a verb. Hmm, maybe we could do dance or dancing or something. Okay. Um, an adjective. Hmm. Do you have any ideas? Um, maybe fuzzy? Fuzzy, I like it. <laughs> okay, another noun. Hmm. Chair. Okay. Um, a verb. Hmm. Swim. Okay. An adjective. Terrible. Okay. A verb. Hmm. I don't know. Do you want to do that one? Um, let's do... Hmm. Run. Okay, another verb. Hmm. Maybe fly. Okay. And one last verb. Hmm. Since it's a song, let's do sing. Okay. All done. All right. Well, that was fun. And the great thing is everybody who's watching right now has no idea what song it is. So this is going to be really funny whenever we announce it at, like, later in the episode. So, all right. Now we are going to bring on our first performer. And that is Jordan Cole. Jordan has been on Broadway in the musical called The School of Rock. And he's also been on tour with Les Mis and Finding Neverland. So today he's going to be singing Can't Help Falling in Love by Elvis Presley. Take it away. Can't Falling in Love by Elvis Presley. Wise men say only fools rush in, but I can't help falling in love with you. Shall I stay? Would it be a sin if I 
Oh my gosh. All right. So now we are going to bring Jordan on and ask him a couple questions. Hi. All right. So first question. Um, what was your favorite part about being on Broadway? Oh, I don't think we can hear you. I don't know if that's just me. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Okay, continue. <laughs> My favorite part of being on Broadway, um, there's a lot. I loved every part of it, but my favorite probably has to be um, being able to play instruments every night. That was really fun. Um, uh, we got to play instruments and sing and do all that stuff, and it was just so fun. That's a really cool aspect of that show. Um, next question. How did you first discover that you loved musical theater and performing? Well, when I was really, like, when I was seven, I think, I started, like, doing, like, these small camps, whatever. And then I started, like, really getting into it. And I started, like, trying out for different shows and stuff. Um, and then I, like, started singing and doing theater and acting and stuff like that. And, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, last question. Who is your biggest role model or who just in general inspires you the most? I think my mom does. She's um she's really like she is an actress also. She wasn't really been on anything, but she's um she inspires me because she's really uh she's like always like out there and like friendly and kind and 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 I really appreciate that. That's really nice. Yeah. Okay. So today in honor of LGBTQ plus Pride Month, we are raising money for the Trevor Project. The Trevor Project's goal is to prevent teens harm, teens from harm if they are struggling with their gender identity or sexuality. Here at Virtual Vocals, we welcome everyone and believe that everyone is important and we strive to embrace our differences. To donate, you can go to give.thetrevorproject.org. And we'll talk a little bit more about it later on the show. Thank you. Moving on, our second performer tonight is Walter Russell III. He has been in The Lion King on Broadway and hosts the podcast. Tonight, he's going to be singing and tapping Fabulous Feet. Hello. Black heart. I ain't got a bundle of love, bright green money that goes in my back. I'll correct no what, so what? I don't care, cause you know what I got. I got fabulous feet. I love my fabulous feet. Oh, I am filled with devotion. It's not their emotion. Oh, and they just keep on me. Fabulous feet, sit back, relax, go and drink a drink. We'll entertain and amuse you, so let me introduce you to me and my fabulous feet. Wow. Okay, wow, that was really awesome. Okay, we have a few questions. So first, do you have a favorite backstage memory from being on The Lion King? 
Um, I had a lot of favorite backstage memories. My favorite is when either like people from tech or like some of the cast um, kind of like give us presents or like talk to us and give us notes about what the show is going to be like. Like sometimes it's going to be different. Sometimes it's going to be the same. But either way, it's really exciting. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next question. Have you been able to perform a lot or just do anything musical theater related during quarantine? Yes, I have. I've been doing, I've been able to do dance lessons, music lessons, and I've been able to do cabarets like this. So it's very exciting to go back to know that I'm still somehow still like in the Broadway family and just do all this stuff for them. Right. Okay. And lastly, what motivated you to want to start a podcast? Um, well, mainly it's just because, um, since the pandemic hit, um, I was on Lion King on Broadway. It was only, I it was only one month in there. So it was kind of, so I didn't really get to do a lot when I was there and I didn't get to see, and I didn't get to catch up with a lot of the Cubs. So I was like, why don't we do like an interview with past and present Cubs? Right, that's really cool. That's awesome. All right. So now I know, I think I know, that a lot of the viewers watching right now are eager to see the Mad Libs that we did from earlier. So we are going to reveal that right now. And yeah, well, okay, before we read it, we should probably announce what song it was that we replaced the lyrics with. So this song was, you know it, you love it, let it go from Frozen. <laughs> All right, so Panina, do you want to read it? Um, okay. So we have, the wind is dancing like this fuzzy storm inside. Couldn't keep it in, chair knows I've tried. Don't let them swim, don't let them see, be the terrible girl you always have to be. Sneeze, don't fly, don't let them know, well now they sing. <laughs> well, that was awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Lastly, we have two of our very own hosts, Ella and Saren. We have a special pre-recorded duet that they prepared just for tonight. They are singing part of part of your world from The Little Mermaid. Oh. 
their daughters for young women, sick of swimming, ready to stand. so sad that Ella and Saren cannot be on tonight's episode so that we could do a little interview and tell them how amazing they were, but I hope they're watching. You guys did awesome. <laughs> All right, so before we conclude tonight's episode, we just wanted to remind you again to donate to the Trevor Project. Well, that concludes our last normal episode of season four of Virtual Vocals. Yes. Thank you to all of our guests tonight. You guys did awesome, and that was amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to check in next week for our season finale. We're so excited for it. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.